What's up and welcome to another Up to Summit video. Today we're back in Scotland again and we are going up a very, very steep mountain. 3,800 feet, so this will be my biggest mountain ever. So I'm looking forward to this. I brought the poles because I know I'll probably need them because it looks unbelievably steep and just relentless. Today it's just me, Adam and Lewis. Leo's feeling ill. I'm not sure if he's caught the sickness. We don't know what's going on, but beautiful day today. We shouldn't have any problems with weather. So let's get going. Honestly, today is just absolutely perfect. If anything, it's a tiny bit too warm to be walking up such a steep hill, but I am not complaining about that. You can see the path kind of wiggles all the way up. It looks so, so steep. But yeah, this should be really good. The views are gonna get from up there. They're just gonna be unbelievable. Already the views are looking spectacular. Looking over there and the further we climb, the more we're gonna see. Honestly, I'm so excited for this. see all the way along the ridge we walked on yesterday so if you want to see that video check it out but i will warn you there wasn't as good of views as this nowhere near there we go a few more peaks just peeking out in the background this is what it's all about absolutely beautiful beautiful So that was the easy part. Now we've reached the Benmore path, which is gonna take us somewhere straight up the front of here. Some people right on the top, I think. You can just see some little dots. I'll tell you what, we haven't come that far up these steps and it is bloody steep. It's like just imagine walking up the steps in your house, but they just keep on going. Wow, we've got a long way to go here. A long, long way to go. You can see how far we've climbed up and we've not been going that long, probably only about 30, 40 minutes. Views are really opening up. You can literally see so far, there's a few tiny clouds that look like flying saucers just over there. But other than that, blue sky. Whew. Tiring. Honestly, after today, I don't think I'm ever going to want to walk up any step ever again. So many. So we've just had a little break. Now we're going to carry on slowly. Keep flooding up these steps. Part of me wishes that that were the top of there, but I'm pretty sure it's not. So a way to go after that. I think we've done nearly half of the climbing. So we're getting up there slowly but surely. Still working our way up here, slowly but surely. It's amazing how dry your throat gets when it's weather like this and you're climbing up. Non-stop like this, really is. Draining. Apparently that's not even the top there either, not quite. Just having a little sit down this morning, my stomach was still feeling a bit iffy. So I didn't get any food for the walk really. I just had like three cookies left over from the other day. So that's all I brought. For breakfast, I just had two segments of a watermelon and then a Mars bar ice cream. So I've definitely, probably making me struggle a little bit more. My legs have not got much energy in them at the moment. So I've just had a little bit of my three cookies. I'm definitely gonna need some food when we get back down to the village, but I'm sure this is all gonna be worth it when we get to the view at the top. Yeah, so this walk is literally, I think it's about three kilometers to the summit. This has to be the slowest three kilometers or the toughest three kilometers that you can ever do. It is just non-stop hill all the way. Oh, look at that, still got that to go. So around 900 meters, just over now. Legs, they just feel so tired. Like I really should have eaten properly this morning because they just feel so tired. Struggling to even like balance myself, but at least we're not too far away now. Just there's quite a few flies and midges about, which are just really adding to the stress, but. All good fun and look at these views. Look at that. Perfect conditions. Incredible. Honestly, 
This is the most I've struggled on a walk in a while. Look at that, just non-stop up. Up, up and up, just so steep as well. Oh, nearly there. Wow, this is quite a good path going up here. At least it's not quite as steep, but I'm just drained at the moment. Absolutely drained. Views are just absolutely amazing. Wow. I swear that was like snow all the way in the distance, but it can't be. Surely not. We are nearly there. Thank goodness. My God. Oh. Nearly there. Done. What is it? 1174 meters. Yes. Hug on that. <laughs> oh, that bug is wow. That feels good. Oh. Oh, really? I think it's just like it's in the shade. Oh, yeah, it's in the shade. Wow. What a journey that was. What a journey. There you go. On top of the world. There's no mountain more southern than this that is higher. The only higher mountains are further up north. That is just so many mountains. That's just amazing. Views are just wow. Can't believe there's still snow up here. That's the one we were on yesterday, that closest one to us, it kind of did that horseshoe, obviously in a lot of cloud. So there we go, that's it ticked off. It was pretty difficult, but just getting up, I feel just so much more energy, just getting it done. We were gonna at one point maybe consider doing that one, but that is just, that's not happening today. Still can't quite believe there's little patches of snow just died about. So we're gonna kind of drop off, you can probably see where we go down. Up off down here somewhere down to that river. There we go, we've got a little bit of scramble to come down. Ooh, my legs. I'm feeling it. Oh. Ooh. Legs are definitely feeling it coming down. Here it goes. I don't know if this is the way I'd be taken. Alright, nice. I don't know about this. It looks a bit of a reach down there. No way, no good hand holes really. I don't know about this at them. <laughs> Try it. There's nowhere good to put my hands though. On the, on the, like there. Where? The, 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 like there. That, that's loose a bit. I don't know if this is happening, Adam. Oh. Right, sorry. Got to be safe, got to be safe. I'll tell you what, we haven't even come down that far. If you look, you can see people up there. So I've come down a little bit, or a wee bit, as they might say. But all of a sudden, it's just got absolutely boiling hot again. So weird. There we go. About one quarter of the descent is done. What an idiot. He rolled on the floor and he's rolled into like a stream. Um, <laughs> that's great. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but Leo suddenly felt better after he'd done his business, been sick and whatever. But then he said he was going to walk from the hostel to meet us. So he's walked, he walked three miles and then I sent him the route we're coming down, which I was a bit dubious about his navigational skills. But I think that is him just down there. I thought for a second we actually were going to lose him. There he is. He's recovered and he's out. 
at least we found him. I did worry, worried that we wouldn't find him. And at least we're nearly at the bottom as well. Eventually, we've made it back to flat ground, thank God. We might have a tiny, tiny bit of downhill, but we made it all the way down from there. And that has been a bit of an adventure. So you can see pretty much up to the top there where we were. We've just been following this track down, which has been quite pleasant. We're just all pretty tired. So I may as well finish off the video here. It's been a really good walk, but it has been a hell of an adventure, a different kind of adventure to my video the other day. That was just kind of like, I thought we were completely lost. This was just like so tiring and exhausting, but we made it. We walked up our highest ever mountain yesterday, and today we went and beat that by like three, 400 feet. So it's been very tiring but I definitely feel like I've accomplished something good. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a like or drop a sub. And if you want to see me get lost in some foggy conditions, just up there, click the screen now.